Shalom. Giving our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to get into the topic, all right, dealing with the prophets, all right, and how each age that the prophets were sent, all right, they had the 100% truth, all right, of what was needed for those times, all right, and it's no different in this particular age we're in, all right, where the scriptures say this, one of my favorites, we always bring it out, but uh, let's get it here in the book of Sirach, the 36th chapter. Okay. <clears throat> and basically the prophets, as we say, are a sign of, of, of grace and mercy being extended to our people. Okay. And they've been raised up in each age with the message. Okay. Needed for those times. All right. And the message was 100% of the message. Okay. Now, again, when we deal with the 100% truth, we know and understand, all right, that there are things that are not given unto us, all right, and opened unto us. That's written, written in the Holy Scriptures. So we're just going to give you an example using Jeremiah, all right, of the 100% truth, all right, being given unto him of his time, okay, as well as all of the prophets, that are sent and the prophets that are sent in these times who are singing what the scriptures call the new song. Okay. Which is clearly laid out in the book of revelation, the 14th chapter. And those men are here singing that song. Okay. A hundred percent of the new song is being sung in these latter days right now. All right. Which is our only way out. All right. Under the blood of Yahweh Shah, this testimony. All right. Being spoken. All right. And again, it's not 80 percent. It's not 20 percent. It's 100 percent of the testimony needed in this time. All right. To get us all right to the next glory. All right. Which when we get to the next glory, the new covenant, everything will be opened unto us and we will be perfect. All right. When that which is a uh, fool comes, Yahweh Shai, that which is in part. All right. <laughs> we'll be face to face with everything we've been prophesying of. All right. But as we're here preaching and prophesying, we have a testimony. Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiasticus 36 and 15 give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. All right. And we always go into the scriptures where the prophets were chosen from the foundation of the earth and ordained for their office. OK, so give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. OK, predestined. And raise up prophets that have been in thy name. So the prophets that are raised up are men handpicked, all right, by spirit before this earth even existed, okay, by the Most High for Yahweh Shai, okay, the first fruit spirits is what they're called, okay. And when you go into the book of Revelation 14, it calls the 144,000 the first fruits, okay, the special possessions of the heavenly father all right for a particular order and as you as you read here they are given a testimony in which when we read revelation the 12th chapter okay revelation chapter 12 and 11 says that what and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, all right, which they would have the 100% truth. Again, the, the, the fact that it's 100% has nothing to do with the man itself, but it has to be, uh, uh, it has everything to do with what is sent from above, all right, and who ordained those men, all right, to speak that testimony. So there is, under the blood of Yahweh Shai, a doctrine, a testimony, a witnessing all right, that is vital, all right, to us getting a victory, okay? So they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death, okay? So 
with that being said, going to the book of Jeremiah, as we were congregating last night, this scripture came out, you know, and I was like, let me, I'm going to do a lesson on that. All right. Because when you read these words, all right, it gives you, it is basically letting you know that Jeremiah had the 100% truth of his time. Okay. As a matter of fact, it talks about how in the ages, let me see if I can find that. Okay. Uh, here we go. I think this is what I want. <laughs> Ephesians 2 and 6, and hath raised us up together and have made us sit together in heavenly places in Hamashiach. Because we're tied to the heavens. Because the spirit that 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 is went in the elect were chosen from the foundation of the earth. That's heavenly Jerusalem. The true temple. All right. That in the ages to come. All right. He might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. For by grace are ye saved through faith. All right. And with 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 this grace period. Okay. We are witnessing, we are testifying, offering up the right sacrifice, which ultimately is tied to faith. And that is not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. Now, within that gift, let's go to the book of Jeremiah 1. Okay. And it's been revealed in this time that we are in those in, in the last age. Jeremiah 1 and 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Okay. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. All right. And ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So right here. All right. Jeremiah is being told ultimately. <laughs> all right. He was sanctified. Okay. Let's read uh, the word sanctified. Kadash. Kadash. It says. To consecrate, sanctify, prepare, dedicate, to be hallowed, to be holy. Okay, so Jeremiah, okay, had the 100% truth of his time, all right, via being ordained and sanctified by the Most High Himself. As a matter of fact, it tells you in the book of uh, Second Ezra, real quick, Second Ezra, the second chapter. All right, in a in an allegory, Esdras says what? As he's speaking to the elect. Okay. Second Edris 2 and 17. Fear not, thou mother of the children, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord. For thy help I will send my servants Isaiah and Jeremiah, who had already prophesied. So this is basically symbolic of the prophets okay for your for for the help of the elect the lord will send the prophets again when we read sirach the 36th chapter it says fill sion with thine unspeakable oracles and raise up prophets that have been in thine that's how it's going to happen that's how israel is filled with the new song all right that's how they hear the new song through the men of the lord singing it okay and that council as you can see here, all right, for thy help, I will send my servants, Isaiah and Jeremiah, which is symbolic of the prophets. Again, they had already prophesied by the time Ezra is, is getting this vision and writing this. Okay. And that lets you know reincarnation exists. However, this is just symbolic of the prophets after whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared 12 trees laden with diverse fruits. Because this counsel, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we have received in these latter days, which is a form of spiritual power, it's going to lead to us receiving the kingdom. As the scriptures say, take heed to the doctrine. Okay? Because through that, you're going to save those who yourself and those who hear you. He hath put a new song in my mouth. Many shall hear it and see it and shall trust in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So this gospel, which has been sanctified by the Most High himself, sent through Yahweh Shai to the men of the Lord, has been sanctified. So no matter what fault you can find with these men, 
all right, Isaiah, Jeremiah, because Jake tried to find fault with them in their time. Jake came up against them in their time. Their counsel was sanctified, which makes it the 100% truth. So they're consecrated. They're sanctified. They're dedicated. Special possessions, special spirits chosen by the Most High from the foundation of the earth, covered under the blood of Yahweh Shai from the foundation of the earth. This is why it says this here. Okay, in the book of Revelation, the uh, 13th chapter, in the 8th verse, okay, it says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, Esau, Edom, all right, which Esau is the end of the world, and right now we see our people worshiping him, okay, following after him, bowing to the image of Baal, all right, whose names are not written in the book of life, okay, whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All right. So the heavenly father, that blood, okay. Who, who that blood was going to cover those particular spirits were chosen. All right. To be in the book of the life from the foundation of the world, which is tied to the blood of Yahweh Shai, which was, which, which was shed from the foundation of the earth. Okay. The Heavenly Father wrote that Yahweh Shah's blood will be shed to redeem the elect back to the uh, to him. That was written from the foundation of the earth already. All right. Who 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 ultimately was going to be sanctified, who was going to be covered under that blood. It was written from the foundation of the earth. All right. And Yahweh Shah's blood. All right. Was the down payment that covers the elect to be entered into the new covenant. OK, but again, that was from the foundation of the earth. Again, again, let's get Ephesians. Ephesians, the first chapter. OK. And the third verse, blessed be. All right. Uh, the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. OK, because we're, we're tied to the heavenly Jerusalem. The true tabernacle, which is in heaven. Okay. According as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. All right. Whose names are written in the book of life. All right. Of the lamb slain from the foundation of the earth having predestinated us to the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, having predestinated us, chosen us from the foundation of the world. Okay. So <laughs> those special spirits that were with Yahweh Shai, all right, in the beginning, in order, following orders, Okay, through the spirit creating everything that needed to be created. Okay, those are those spirits who have the testimony today. And Lord willing, we're of that number. This is a very, very high calling. So again, the Lord t tells Jeremiah, before I form thee in the belly. All right, before your, your, your dad met your mom and laid with her. Okay, <laughs> I knew thee. All right, I had a I had a, a a special intent for you. All right, which Jeremiah is definitely a part of the 144,000. He's of that number. Okay? The 12 the, the 12 disciples are at the head of that. He could be one of those men, right? But this is the thing. Let's get uh Revelation 14 speaking of the 144,000 who have the new song. Okay, it tells you, verse 14, that they, these are they which are not defiled with women. All right, those other philosophies, they are virgins, as Paul said, I've espoused you to one husband. All right, these are they which follow the land whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and unto the Lamb. Okay, chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right, first fruits redeem all right uh, uh, for a particular purpose okay the different than the rest of the world even different than the rest of all israel 
Why? All right, because that new song is instilled in them. And that mindset, all right, will be the, 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 the leading factor to galvanize the elect to repent in the latter days. Okay, being the first fruits, the word first fruits is a parque. And I'll just get to the point. It says persons in superior in excellence to others of the same class. All right. So before the foundation of the earth, when the Lord created. All right. The, uh, because all nations were created in the heavens. That's what ties you to your nation, your spirit. But the, the, all of those nations were chosen in the beginning. All right. But amongst that, the elect were, were, were the first spirits created. And then everything else followed after them. All right. The first fruits, person superior in excellence to others of the same class. So all, we're all Israel, but the 144,000. OK, which the large multitude is going to be, you know, uh, joined back unto the heavenly father through that order. OK, those are the ones who he set up and chose from the foundation of the earth, as we're reading about Jeremiah. OK. Let's read it again. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Okay. And ordained thee a prophet to the nations. Let's look up this word ordained. Okay. So that's what gives the prophets the 100% truth. The fact that they're sanctified from the foundation of the earth and ordained. Okay. Sent into the earth. Okay, to preach this word. All right, Nathan, na, Nathan, to give, to put, to set, to bestow, to grant. He granted the men of the, the Lord authority. Okay, and under Yahweh Shai, it starts with our King David, Peter, who was given the key. All right, which all of the elect share in that, that, that uh, uh, testimony, that authority. But there's an order to it. So to give, bestow, to grant, permit, ascribe, employ, devote, consecrate, meaning set apart, make holy, consecrate, to make or declare something, typically a church sacred. So the prophets have been declared sacred by the Most High themselves. So whenever they come into the earth and whatever they speak is 100% of what he wants spoken in that time. They're ordained by who? The Father himself through Yahweh Shai, which that is the true church, heavenly Jerusalem. Okay? That's why it says in the book of Colossians, Yahweh Shai is the head of the church of the firstborn. Let's get that. Okay? And that church, all right, is being gathered in these latter days via the Holy Spirit. And some of those very spirits are here. All right, before you doing the work, preaching, prophesying with the measure given unto them. Colossians 1, all right, and 13, who have delivered us from the dark power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. See that? But that was done from the foundation of the earth. So we were... Were we in the new covenant from the foundation of the earth? Okay, it was written. Okay, it's already ordained. The victory is already there, but we still have to walk through this grace period to get there. Okay, this is why Yahweh Shah said, this is my blood shed for the new covenant. Because it's through that blood that the elect are going to be justified upon his second coming. Sanctified or, or, or set apart for that particular deliverance to be justified holy okay so we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins all right who is the invis who is the image of the invisible god the firstborn of every creature see that he's the firstborn of every creature the most high created yahweh shai all right, and everything else that was created was through Yahweh Shai. He gave Yahweh Shai the blueprint. In the beginning, the Allah Hayyam created the heaven and the earth. Okay? 
as it says in the book of Second Edris, all right, by his word were the stars and everything else made, which spake but the word, all right, let all of this, Yahweh Shai is the word, see, and we partake in the word, all right, and we're here in these latter days to share the word, okay, with the elect who are going to believe the testimony, all right, for by him all things were created, that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. He is the head of the body, the church. See? <laughs> That's his body, the church, who was the beginning the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. And you got Israelites talking about worshiping him as idol worship. Okay, well, he's going to knock your ass in the head with an idol. <laughs> all right, when, when he comes back. I dare any a nigga call Yahweh Shah an idol. Or, 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 or for him to even be linked to an idol is a wicked mindset, man. Who do you think gave Israel the law? As a matter of fact, let's get that in Deuteronomy 33. Who gave Israel the law? It was that angel. Deuteronomy 33 and 2. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai. Okay, how did, he, how did the Lord come? Through that chariot, through that angel that hovered over the mountain and rose up from Seir. Unto them he shined from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints, and from his right hand went a fiery law for them. So how the hell, the right hand of the Most High, Jehovah Shah, how in the hell could he be subject to being an idol within the law that he wrote? When Yahweh, the, the Most High God himself said, I put my name and rank in him, obey him. For he won't forgive your sins in the book of Exodus, man. Anyway. It says, and he is before all things and by him all things consist. He is the head of the body, the church, who was the beginning. All right. And so forth. So we always we already read that. But there you go. The bottom line is this. All right. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth from the womb, I sanctify thee and ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Meaning each birth of the elect is all of the elect are born of the Holy Spirit. You see, they were born to fulfill prophecy. They were born for a very, very important office. But the, 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 the what makes it 100 percent is that they were appointed by the most high himself. Because I remember Isaiah. Uh get a quick example the book of Isaiah yep the, the, the sixth chapter okay where Isaiah was clean right where Isaiah's cleansing and call let's read this real quick and then we'll uh, get a few more and close it out Isaiah 6 and 1 in the year that King Uzziah died I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne and he lifted up his train Filled he and, and lifted up in his train filled the temple. Okay, above it stood seraphims, each one had six wings. <laughs> with twain, he covered his face, and with twain, he covered his feet, and with twain did he fly. Okay, so he's seeing the, 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 the heavens like damn. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is Yahweh the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. So he saw the, the heavens, man. The Lord opened Isaiah to see what was happening in the heavens, man. The, the, the spiritual temple in the heavens. The, the angels, right? And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone. I'm through. I'm doomed. Because I am a man of unclean lips. Because this is how we look at ourselves. If you're humble, you're like, I'm through. 
right? And I dwell in the midst of a, of a people of unclean lips, speaking all manner of evil, all kind of false philosophies. For mine eyes have seen the king, Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. Okay? It says, yet I have seen the king, the Lord of heaven's armies. All right? He saw the glory. He saw it. Okay? So he's like, damn, I'm unclean. Like, how the hell can I be tied to that perfection and glory that I just saw? <laughs> and then one of the seraphims flew, one of the angels, unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth, and he said, Lo, this have touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Meaning he's one of the elect. He's one of those men who fall under that blood of Yahweh Shai, who were chosen from the foundation of the earth. Okay? So, 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 you're, 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 yeah, you're through. You, all right, as the scriptures say, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Yeah, you're, you're, you know, you're in a bad position here on earth, but I'm going to cleanse your mouth. And what you speak is going to be what? Ordained and sanctified, man. All right. And that's the order we all hope to fall under, man. All right. And then he, he, he ushered him. What? Also, I heard a voice saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said, I, here I am. Send me. I'll go preach. And that's what each prophet does. See, but what makes what the prophet says sanctified, all right, is something that is ordained from the heavens. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. All right. So he, he, he told him to go out and preach this message, basically, which we're doing the same thing. But again, all right, before we were even born, before the elect we were born, Lord willing, we're of that number. All right. They were sanctified and ordained. That's what gives the men of the Lord the 100 percent truth. And Jeremiah, Isaiah, they, they both had the 100 percent truth of their time. OK, Moses had the 100 percent truth of his time. OK, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, who were singing that new song, have the 100 percent truth of this time. OK, let's get the book of Sirach one to, to end this off. Sirach 1, I believe, 14. Yep. Sirach 1 and 14. The fear, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that's what the men of the Lord, the, the, the prophets push. As a matter of fact, when you read the new song, it's centered around worshiping and fearing the Lord. Okay, the, 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 because of the hell that's getting ready, the, the hour of his judgment has come. Don't take his mark. Don't bow. That, that's a part of the new song, man. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. See that? So before you were even born, your spirit was chosen for a particular order, all right? And that order is given directly of the Most High. So whenever the prophets are sent into the earth, they are speaking the 100% truth, man. And if you don't believe that, then you have a very, very, very low level understanding of the scriptures, man. Shalom.